Like the videos? Smash those like and subscribe buttons and enable the bell for up-to-date notifications. Hit join and consider becoming a zombie slayer today. Hey guys and welcome back to Slimex Today, Darkest Falls mod. So we are here at our old base. I just picked up the last few things that we had in here. Uh, because I do not intend coming back yet. Um, I do want to see if... It, it's, it's hard. Um, like I said last episode, we want to be able to have both these traders give quests in just this one town of here. But if we can stick to one trader... Uh, or rather, let's just keep these two traders. No more than that. Reason being is the more quests you do for a certain trader, the more stuff you can buy from, like recipes and all that stuff as well. So if we can buy the Marshy books from this one and our trader, that would be awesome. Okay, see, uh, teach me recipes, never mind. Better craft. Stage hammer, never mind. Uh, inventory, I want to see if I can't sell a few guns over here. My auger, I need to keep. Imagine I accidentally sum auger right now. Oh my mini bike that's modded. That's gonna be so insanely bad. Okay, silence the mod. I'm gonna try and put on my AR, although I don't think that's gonna help much. Only problem is if you put it on your gun like that, it actually takes away from the damage. Um it makes the damage it, it gives out way, way less. Boom boom. Almost forgot that I had stuff on me. I actually came here last episode trying to get uh, get my organ and stuff that was in the dustbin outside, and I forgot to sell things over here. So yay. <laughs> I just cleared out my inventory. Now you reset for day 31. Uh, wheel, we don't really need, I think. Engines, we don't need. Nitrate, we do. What else do you have? I think we actually... Did we? No, I, I can't remember. I don't know if we were here for the day 31 reset already, or if I just grabbed the trash and that was it. Anyways, I'm going to buy the food. Why not? Thank you. Stew, and what else do you have for me? Guys, we need to go questing and just clear the current town. And we need to clear it from head to toe. Uh, rockets? No, I want the red rockets. Frag rockets. Unfortunately, you do not have that. Oh, that's that's right. We only looked for frag rockets, nothing else. I need to every time check through the entire just inventory and check if there's no, no new things. Like, for example, steel. Ooh, 8,000. We definitely do need steel, so I can't buy 60, perhaps. Um, reason being is we need to upgrade those blocks for the defense for the day 35 horde, and we need to start making quill rifles and stuff. At the moment, we are level... Uh, oh yeah, we are level 71. We need to be level 75, then we can make ourselves the quail rifle. If I can make myself the quail rifle, that's going to be way more powerful than the rifle we have at the moment. I think at the moment we're using the M60. Okay, so this goes up there, this goes down here. I need to switch these two out. And I need to remember as soon as I'm back at the base, to put another mod in there. At the moment, remember this purple quality can have an extra slot over there, so that's awesome. That is, let's put, like so, we're going to do this, then dirt, then stone, and then iron. Now we just over here, well, we can actually put that as well. But what's the point? Okay, yeah, I'm just going to put another mod in there. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to put the engine mod on there. Basically, if you put the engine mod on there, you can actually have, like, double the gas size intake, whatever. But yeah, also, I took out the land claim over here, and the land claim... Oh, no, I didn't do this one. Please tell me I can actually reach it from over here. Because I can't remember whether I put it underground or if I put it on top. Although it doesn't really matter, it's just one. It's going to be downstairs, isn't it? Okay, let's see if I can't just quickly really check out down there and just see if there is a land claim that I can see. Yeah, I can see it from over here, nice. So all I have to do is that, destroy. Uh, this might start giving... I don't want a, an ugly side of you every time I come and visit. So I'll just plug that up and then we need to get out of here. We do have the frame, so let's just rather, instead of breaking out of here, just jump out of here. Boom. There you go. Just one. I, I actually wanted to use all the frames over there, but it, was, it wasn't necessary. Now, also, guys, remember, every time we come across animals... I didn't place my bike yet. Every time we come across animals, we have to kill them. Be it wolves, bears, uh, whatever. We need to kill them. We need to make sure we get all the meat and bones from there, especially the bones. Ooh, he just dropped another wolf. That's my second wolf already. Baby wolf, male. I wonder if I had a female uh, previously. Okay, so usually I get about 18 meat from this. That's just 12. Was it because I wasn't doing power attacks? What's going on? Okay, uh, we need to eat the meat stew. That's going to fill me up almost all the way. And we're going to do this fetch quest, then add back to the base. I want to make sure we hand this in at the trade over there. Technically, I want to do these as well then, but then I'm going to have to come back here to hand it in. So I'm just going to hand this one in. And then we're going to uh, continue just clearing out the whole town over there. And guys, some of these pure eyes might look like insignificant small pure eyes. But some of them, I mean, 
there was one of these outhouses, not even a full house, on the corner of the, you know those in the corner of the towns of here? It's like a broken down, run down thing over here. Uh, we had a gun safe like that, like gave us an M60 and M4A1. So these are really, really, really worth it. Ooh, bear den. No, it's going to be the bear den. Yeah, it's the bear den. Okay, so um, we're going to have to kill two bears again. At least this time we do have... Ooh, hello, hello piggy. This time we do have grenades on us. I'm really, really glad I decided to bring the grenades with. Oops. I thought one shot would be enough to kill it. Damn. You sure are tough. Now, how much bones do I get from this? Just four. But hopefully if I kill enough animals, that's going to be worth it. If I harvest the bones from the bears over here, that should also be worth it. Okay, fetch. Hello, 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 bike. I mean, if it's here, we can just all range it. It might just get some mechanical parts as well. Yeah, there you go, mechanical parts. Guys, we need a ton of mechanical parts and electrical now as well. And scrap polymers. So if I see stuff that I can range, unfortunately, I just don't have a chainsaw. If I can just use the chainsaw, it's going to be much, much, much faster getting all the resources. Okay, so all the loot's put away. Let's just quickly go through here. Boom. Okay, see, these are now super powerful, these augers. Um, I just need a purple chainsaw and then I'll be set. Now, what am I going to encounter over here? This is fine supplies, but I don't know the level of zombies I'm going to be getting. Might be cops, might be dogs down here, we never know. Whoa, hello. Okay, see, this is the only reason why a machete might be better. Also, obviously, later when you get the laser sword. Because you don't know, you can actually get like a katana type sword in this game. Um, at the laser workbench later on. So as soon as we get to that level, I wonder how much more powerful it's going to be. At the moment, our best weapon is a hunting knife. But as soon as we get that knife, that katana, it's definitely going to be like a one-shot kill. Especially with Master Knife Guy and all these... Uh, bonuses I have that's gonna be awesome trying to figure out hello hello this can't be another wandering horde I've had so many wandering hordes uh, these past two three episodes it's been insane although I'm not complaining the more zombies there are the better please don't wake up the bears up top at least if I wake up the bears I can just crawl underneath the stairs and I'll be safe I think I'm gonna clear out the bottom of here and then I'm just gonna break through the top or just jump up to the top so I can kill the bears before going up there. If we go up there, we might just have a very bad surprise on our hands. Hello? Ooh, two of you. And you were feral. <laughs> okay, I just fooled his plans. This one broke out. This one's not there. This leads to the top where we need to go. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I wonder if he broke out of here and then just went past the sides. Of Wait, no. Was he outside? Was he... That paper is pushing me into the light and I can't move it. That's weird. Okay, so let's quickly help these zombies. I don't want to break the fence over here. I just want to be able to shoot them. But now I can't loot that because the glass is in the way. Okay, let's quickly pick up all these resources. Only problem from gathering resources like this is the fact that you're making so much noise. And the more noise you make, the worse it gets. Okay, ooh. Uh, where's the supplies that I need to find? Are they going to be here? It shows it's upstairs, so it can't be this over here, right? On these skew panels, guys, just keep an eye out. These skew panels have loot behind. I just need to be careful that I don't get too many ferals over here as well. Especially since we do get a ton of wandering hordes in this place. Or just in this map the past few episodes. Now that's a problem with using augers to pick up all the resources. I, if I had a steel pick, it would have been a little bit faster. But since I'm using the auger, I'm making so much noise. The zombies have no choice but to come for me. There's all the zombies in the area. Okay, now I need to do that. No, 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 no. I want to do it in such a way that I don't have to worry about the bears. Hello, bears. I see you. I see you. Okay, so, grenade in hand. Boom. Both of you. There you go. Um, okay. AR is going to do the best damage, I think. Just do headshots. Make sure it doesn't jump towards me. And also make sure that I'm also just using tap, tap, tap instead of holding in the gun. I keep forgetting. I always forget. It's not an automatic gun. It's a semi-automatic. You have to click, click, click for it to fire. I don't want to destroy that corpse. Get away from it, please. There you go. Okay, those zombies. Yeah, let's quickly go for them underneath. I don't want zombies surprising me from all sides. Now that the bears are gone, I don't have to worry. Come on. You guys can't be this weak. You cannot be this weak. Damn. Whoops. I say they're not that weak, and then all of a sudden they hit me. 
Yeah, this is zombies just from all over, guys. Because I'm making so much noise clearing places, they love inter interrupting me over here. Okay, so there's nothing behind there. So let's see how many bones. 34 bones just from the one. That's insane. See, so if you get stuff like this, corpses and zombie bears and zombie dogs and stuff, we need to skin them. Yeah, we need to skin them. Harvest them. That's the word I was looking for. We need to harvest them. The more bones we have, the better. We need glue. We need duct tape. I mean, even that starting message, that menu screen tips and tricks and stuff, it says that um, duct tape is the most important commodity in the game at the moment. I want to make sure there's nothing in the roof over here that I have perhaps mislooked over the years. See, there's this, but I don't know if it's going to be awesome or not. Let's see, let's see. Nah, that wasn't that great. I mean, it's worth a try. Just now there is something in there and you skip it for no reason. Okay, so stone. We need to make some more cement mix as well. So all the stone I come across, which technically includes this as well, uh, we need to pick up. But it's faster just going for these pallets of stone. They give you way, way, way more stone in a far shorter time. Okay, so, you know, let's just close this door. And grab a gun, just in case. Right, glasses on and loot. Please, I need awesome loot. All our lucky looters and quality joes and stuff's now maxed out. So, if we get guns now, it should be the best quality. Unless we're really unlucky. M60s, Desert Vulture, thank you. I don't really use the Desert Vulture. Ooh, we're getting a ton of guns right now, that's awesome. Hello, hello, hello. Can I jump through here, perhaps? Can I join you on the toilet? I don't know how, there's some couples that actually sit in this, uh, the same toilet while one's busy. I don't know how you do that. I mean, doesn't it actually put you off or turn you off if that happens? I don't know how people, uh, even if it's a loved one and you love them, whatever. How can, ooh, did he just, what is that thing? I want to check this. There was a handprint just now. I want to see what that is because it's like a knockback defect. But yeah, you love a, a, a girl, right? And then you watch her sit on the toilet or she watches you. That's so, ugh. But I know a lot of people do that. I just don't know why they do that or love doing that. Hello, Vulture. Yeah, straight here, straight here. No, if he's feral, he's going to come for me as soon as the Vulture comes for me. <laughs> you thought he was going to keep me occupied. Nah. Woo, okay, he was a boss Vulture. Radiated Vulture. Ooh, hello. And one more over there. Whoops. Oh, it hit me again. What is that? Uh, do you guys see that red hand that it shows every now and then? It bothers me when I see it and I just don't know what it is. Okay, now where is the stash going to be? It's over here somewhere. It's definitely on the roof, so I need to keep my eyes open. We already got the final stash, so it has to be up here. It shows it's right about here, but I don't see anything. Oh, there you go. There you go, under the catwalk. Okay, now let's go, let's go back to the base. Also, vultures, we need to skin them. I must not forget stuff like that, because the vultures, I think, also give you bones. 14 bone for one, whoa, one vulture. Okay, so definitely, I always forget to skin the vultures, and it's definitely worth it, it seems. Okay, I want to test how high I can fall, but then again, I'm encumbered. So, I don't know if weight also makes you fall harder, and then you can break your legs. I'll rather not take the chance. There's still cars in this car lot over there, and also that vending machine might be broken, and we might be able to wrench it. But for now, let's just get back to the town, and clear the town out. Guys, there's a whole small town's been cleared out, so we just need to do the same with our new town. And then as soon as we're done with the town, we keep on moving to the new one. So I, I'm only feeling like making a new base as soon as we're done with our current town. Oh, wow. I shot just now, and it looked like the gun recoiled downwards. That was super weird just now. It almost I don't know if my mouse accidentally went down or something, but that recoiled down. Okay, and then also there's a wolfie over here. See, the more animals we kill, even though it takes time and effort and stuff, the more we can kill like this, the better. We need the meat. We need the bones. I mean, the bones are awesome, but especially the meat. The more I have, the more special foods I can make. I always run out of food before anything else. I should technically be killing all of these animals, or rather all these zombies I come across as well. But sometimes it's just a little bit tough. Oh, that's just too much damage. Sometimes it's tough because they're too scattered. If they were more condensed in one area, I'd actually take them out because that's free XP right there. But if they're so far apart, then you have to take time and waste effort going all over just to fetch the zombies. Like if there's a zombie there, and there, and there, it's too far away. But if they're right in one group, then I'll stop in between them and I just quickly kill them. 
For example, poor survivor, I was a little bit late, but there's two zombies here, so it's worth. We keep doing that. Oh, I forgot to put the right glasses on. We need to remember to put on the right glasses, especially since we need the XP. Yeah, and I can just well get you guys because I'm stopping here. Where's that wolf? Where's that wolf? Did I just kill it? No. Oh, it's a die wolf. So it's going to give me way more meat, right? Oops. Too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. Now, how much meat? I don't know how much meat I just got. It was a 43 just from that dire wolf. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention just now. See, I need to pay attention better as well. Sometimes it just feels... Some episodes, my thinking is clear. I know exactly what I want to do. And other episodes, all of a sudden, it's like I can't think straight. Uh, I stutter. I just talk dumb. <laughs> Ooh, hello, spider. Unfortunately, I couldn't drive over you just now. Wait. Uh, there's one on the inside as well. Oops. Wait, is there another spider in there? That's what bothered me just now. I was focusing on this spider, but I heard a spider on the inside. Hello? That was just a zombie. That really sounded like there were two spiders. One inside and one outside. Now, where did these guys come from? They actually have broken in somewhere. I don't see... Oh, there's a hole right there. Okay, so unfortunately there's a hole in here. <laughs> That's never good. You don't want zombies just having free reign of your trader. Which also means we have to close the doors. Um, the traders, it seems, don't die. Even if they die, you just have to re-log and then they spawn back in. Well, but still, you don't want to come there and there's no trader waiting for you. Okay, more job. No, no, no. More jobs. Sorry, didn't have what, you needed. what do you have for me in this area? 900 meters fetch. That's level 3. I have to do this one. I could do this one that's even closer, but that's just level 1. That's not going to be worth it. Old house gambler. Gambler. What? Gambrel. Oh yeah, let's go. Wait, what are you firing at? Ooh, also, uh, now that I think about it, now that I'm here, I should actually do these houses over here first, because I've already gone all the way around. Now I'm going to stop at the trader, and there's going to be some houses left still. So if I can quickly finish these pure eyes over here, um, then it means as soon as I'm done with these uh, houses on this side, I just stop by the trader. That makes sense. So then the bunk over here is going to be the last POI I loot. Okay, let's go. Also just have to make sure I don't get too encumbered and too useless at the moment. Hello, hello, hello. Just going to get a headshot in. Wait, why can't I fit through this? From there, I couldn't fit through the block, so I couldn't hit him too easily. And now I also just need to make sure... Oh, double-clicked accidentally. Uh, I have enough space. I need to make sure I always have enough space to loot it with. For example, now I think this is full, right? Yeah, that's full. You can't really dump stuff here, so I'm going to encumber just looting these places. I'll try and see how far I can get, but I think just trying to loot these houses, I'm going to get so super encumbered I can't move. And that's going to be the worst. Uh, so I either need to sell more things. Ooh, talking of, we do have things we can sell to the trader. Stuff on our bike, stuff on us. Let me just quickly do that so we don't have to worry about storage quickly. Uh, yeah, we're going to sell this one, this one, this one, this one. The auger will keep. The silencer, I want to put on my AR, but that's so crappy quality anyways. Also, I want to see if I can't make myself a better AR. At the moment, I only have this yellow one. Uh, but I think morning, I might be able to craft myself customer. more. See, she doesn't have those other loyalty quests yet for me. I can't wait until I have those with her. Okay, SMG will keep. This one sell, sell, sell. We keep those. Crossbow bolts, we keep. Arrows, we can sell. The crossbow bolts we actually use, but the arrows we never ever use. This one we have a few of, and these we can just scrap. Boom, boom. Man, they're making noise outside. See, that's what happens when the uh, guards have crappy aim. They shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and don't kill anything. Whatever it was, it's still alive. Yeah, there you go. I just need to be careful, because if I try and kill this guy now, the, the traders might accidentally become better shots and kill me in the process. Although killing me is not great, uh, considered great shooting. Uh, no. Sort that out and quickly just dump a few things over here. I don't think I've done this place yet. This is a place where I actually once had a bear outside of where I broke through here and just tried to kill it. It looks so similar. Well, it's the exact same eye, but I thought I might have done it already, but it seems I haven't. Nice. Okay, so we're going to grab our shotgun. We're going to grab our knife and we're just going to go quickly through this place. Boom. You should be damaged highly from that. Knife, knife, knife. Ooh, that was almost like a headbutt just now. His arm didn't actually even fully swing. It just knocked me in the head with his head. Okay, uh, loot over here. Thank you. Checking the corners. 
There's definitely going to be loot back here, but I'm going to leave that for now. It's going to take too much effort destroying. As the only reason I have my shotgun at the ready right now is for if I get like ferals and stuff, or overwhelmed with ferals. I shouldn't really need my shotgun, but you never know. Just now there's a cop up here and I need to kill it quickly. Although I could technically just kill the cop with my knife. If I do headshots and I just spam power attack, I might be able to even kill the cop. Let's see, we need to go downstairs and... Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've done this PI. It's been a really, really long time since I've done this one. Okay, so there's a door over there, door over here, hello. I need to make sure where they come through, I can actually see them. And also, I need to start arranging these brass radiators too. Especially since we're going to need the radiators later, or the brass rather later. We need to start wrenching them as well. Come on. I'm jumping too high so I can't grab the food. Okay, so you have to break open the doors, but just enough so I can actually see you. Boom, there you go. This side. Ooh, crap. Uh, soldier. This could have ended badly. Give me a head. Give me a head. Give me a head. Alright, just make sure I don't hit them in the head. I can bleed them actually fast. Uh, shotgun. It seems I can actually bleed them relatively fast. But I just need to make sure that I actually... Oh, hello. I uh, just need to make sure I do body shots, not a headshot. Because the headshot just now dinged. But the body shot actually sounded like meat. Okay, and also, that's why I need the chainsaw. It's a shame I can't just use my knife, the knife's much faster. But if I get some scrap polymers over here, the more I get from places like this, the better. If I had a chainsaw, I wouldn't have to worry about my stamina going down at all. Where does this lead to? Nowhere. I probably also have my shotgun at the ready in a small place like this, just in case I get caught off guard. Okay, shotgun at the ready. Boom. If I accidentally shoot a guard right now, I'm going to be so pissed, because then it's going to shoot me through the door over here. Okay, so we just got that radiator, and there's one of here as well. See, the more of these radiators come across, the better, because later on, when we do start to make our own ammo, all we need to do is scrap them down and use them as brass. Nice. Awesome. Easy. Oh, from when I was like, why can't I rent, uh, loot that or anything? And then I realized, it might just be a fake wall. Okay, so over here is going to be loot. Not always great, but the backpack might have a weapon or two that we can sell. Unfortunately, not this time. Loot. Okay, we have to go into that room, and then this room over here is just a bathroom. But it does have a window that we could fit through, so... I need to... Actually, the more we loot these places, the better I'm going to be at remember, remembering which places are which places. Like, when I walk into a building, I need to exactly know the layout of it. Uh, that's how much I should have played that game already, or that map already. Okay, that goes downstairs. I'm not sure whether I should go up, down, left, right... Especially when the zombies break through whole, uh, doors and stuff, you really don't know which direction you're supposed to be going. Okay, nothing over here. Nope, wrong. There's something there. Nothing there. Okay, so now I need to check. This room over here, where does this lead to? It might just all lead to the same place, so yeah, that's also a possibility. And then technically I should look behind all the paintings, because just now there's a safe or two that I can actually crack as well. Okay, this door is locked. See, if I had a button that I could press and it just auto switches to my tools, to my guns or my uh, axes and stuff, that's going to be so much better. Now I have to scroll and sometimes I over scroll, under scroll, and then especially when a zombie attacks you, that sucks. Okay, so we got all these doors already. This leads outside. Yeah, now we just need to go downstairs. So it is definitely that downstairs that we're supposed to go to. Make sure we are fully reloaded as well though, because this might just get hectic. Especially with the doors open over here, anything can follow us down here, so that's going to suck. Hello? Ooh, there's zombies behind that screen as well, need to be careful. Okay, so, truck into the back. Stand in front of each other. Come on, boom, boom. There you go. That's really, really bad shooting from me, but at least I'm alive. I'm barely alive, but I'm alive. <laughs> okay, so food and water, we need to buy that as well. But I think if we loot enough, we shouldn't have to buy any canned food anymore. We should come across enough canned food on our own if we just keep looting. So that's where we need to go. That's the final stash. It's going to be back there. And then there's a toilet over here. Sometimes there's still sleepers in here. So I just, I like breaking it open and checking if there's something sleeping. It's still my belief though that if you go through a place to clear it, 
uh, and you make some noise, like fire a gun upstairs, all the zombies inside should wake up and try and pass to you. That just makes sense, right? You made noise, now deal with the consequences kind of thing. Okay, uh, I'm going to place this right here. Damn. Just realized I don't have space to place this stuff over here. I'm gonna, as I go, I'm going to pick up the resources so I don't have to worry on the way out. I also bench that. Oh, nice. Okay, see, so it's... What, whoa, what's that? What's that? What's that? Animal poison. Wait, what? A poisonous animal has bitten you at some point. Blood draw kits might cure you. Paramedic kit is guaranteed to cure... This is so messed up! That spider bit me a while ago. Did I just now realize that I was infected? Or... That had to have been the spider, right? So as soon as I'm done with this POI, I need to go heal myself. As if I can actually craft what it's needed to uh, to make myself better. If it's too expensive, I'm just gonna have to die, unfortunately. Okay, uh, just do this. Just slow down the zombies a little bit. That's really not gonna do anything to the zombies. Okay, and also I need to probably just go and do the toggle inactive at the moment. I don't want to worry about too many things on my screen at this stage. Hello. Okay, let's just do this so we can see what's coming. We're going to run around anyways. Okay, there's just one, two zombies. Don't see any dogs at the moment or spiders. Three zombies. Uh, even if they're feral, they're really easy to take down these days. As long as you are able to just do a few headshots with a power attack and this life's chance of killing them. Oh, I just realized my stamina is also running out faster. That's perhaps why my stamina is running out. The fact that I'm infected. I was wondering... Oh, nice. I was wondering why it was running out that fast. It shouldn't be running out this fast. Okay, now. Uh, when I try and use my auger over here, our zombies going to charge me all over? What's going to happen? So at the moment, I have that problem of... I'm stuck in a basement. No stamina. Or my stamina is running out, rather. So if I make too much noise, it might just be the end of me. Food, search, grab, thank you. That's pink dye that we can sell. As long as I have the shotgun turret, I should be safe. I just hope there's no bears in this BI. I know there might be a few dogs, but I don't think there are any bears over here. Ah, no dogs. Okay. That's wonderful. Gives us a little bit of time to survive and just clear our thoughts over here. It's bitsy spider. You'd think that's actually the spiders that come from here, but that's just the spider zombie. Okay. Um, let's loot that. All of this, though, is nitrate. I don't know why there's nitrate on the ground like this, but either way, it's free nitrate, so why not grab it? Okay, so now we should get, we have Quality Joe maxed out. We have Lucky Luda maxed out. We need to start investing points. Ooh, there you go. Just one more point and we can get double rewards for trader uh, quests. So that's going to be definitely worth it. Steel switches, there you go. Thank you, ammo. Now nah, that's just blunderbuss ammo. Ooh, nice. A proper quality sniper rifle. That might just, might just come in handy. Okay, guys, I need to go heal myself also. It feels like I'm going to run out of time before I heal myself. Uh, let's drop this. Grab all that. And one more thing. Come on, come on, come on. What can I grab? Blunderbuss ammo we don't need. There you go. Okay, so we are clear over here. So I could technically just... Yeah, let's just try and get through over here. Since it gives you the option, you should be able to do it. Boom, and out. Okay, unfortunately, we can't do another PR now, now here because we're going to have to focus on healing ourselves. Also, let's just see if I can't get the attention. I've missed a piggy over there. Yeah, come all the way to me. I'm running out of stamina because I'm poisoned, so I can't afford to come to you. And he actually got to me almost. I need to be careful. Ooh, I don't know how many of you guys noticed that, but sometimes when you're skinning an animal, if you just chop off a limb, like a head, a leg, or whatever, you get meat, but it doesn't take away from the HP of the zombie, so you can get so much more meat over there. Okay, so I'm going to have to come back for this one. But first things first, we need to get to the base, uh, to the base and hopefully we have the skill points. It's going to suck, guys. I just invested those two skill points, right? If I needed a skill point to buy a medical point that, uh, that I'm going to need to be able to make this cure for myself, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Because I think after 10 minutes you die from poison. The stamina is already running out way, way, way too fast. So I need to be careful. I can't afford to use my melee now. Which means until I'm cured, I'm going to have to start using my knife more. Hello, base. Okay, there's no zombies waiting for me. Okay, there's a ton of bones over here, though. I wonder, before I go in, let's just quickly get these. I'm super encumbered, so technically I shouldn't be running around out here. Can you left-click? Nah, it's not enough. 
I need to power attack the stuff to be able to get all the meat. But I'm running out of stamina, as you guys can see. I think it's because of the poisoning that I'm running out of stamina so fast. It was bothering me that my stamina runs out so damn fast, and now I know why. Poison. Okay, so this defense, like I said last time, guys, is so great. We can just stand back and not do anything. We might just want to have some turrets and stuff protecting us, but it's really not all that necessary. Yeah, I'm just quickly going to put all the stuff away, grab my stuff for the bike, and put that away as well. Ooh, stamina. But now the problem is going to be stamina, guys. We need to get uh, cured as well. So hopefully we have all the resources necessary. I think before I take stuff off the bike. Let's just see if I don't have everything that's necessary to heal myself quickly. And also that generator, I need to make sure it's full, uh, filled up with fuel. Okay, so inventory management first. Okay, now the question is going to be, do I have everything I need to heal myself? It says animal poisoning. Blood roll kits might cure you, but the paramedic kit is guaranteed. Oh, I don't have any blood roll kits. I sold all of them. No, I do have one. Uh, my blood bags can also be used to potentially treat poison. Drawing too much blood too fast is dangerous. Please tell me I just need one. A week from blood loss and faster. Healing, eating... That did not just cure me, did it? Mild anemia. Uh, blood kit cure. Okay, what is a paramedic kit? Let's just check this out quickly. Paramedic kit. Par Come on, P. Paramedic kit. That's locked. Under master scientist. So, <laughs> uh, blood draw kit. I can't even... Oh, what, what's going to happen as soon as I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just realized. You can use the same one over and over and over again. It gives it back to you. Wait, no, 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 no. Why am I bleeding? I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. What? 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 What the hell just happened? That's so Did I just bleed out? I think what might, what might have just happened, guys, this is just my opinion. Um, since I still had the anemia or whatever from drawing blood, when I drew, I drew it again, it just it just didn't stop going. It just kept going and going and going. So I just literally bled out. It's death by poison, basically. Well, I don't know. Well, technically, it's death by stupidity, but it's also death by poison. Okay, so let's quickly fill ourselves back up again. Oh, there should be more food. Oh, no. I thought soon I had more steak than this. All my steak's gone. Okay, uh, one more should do the trick. Let's go for bacon and eggs. And then water. I'm just going to drink the mineral water. Pure mineral water fills you up really, really, really fast. What a way to end an episode, though. That was just really, really insane. <laughs> I can't believe. Technically, it was death by poison because I would have died anyways. But damn. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to go episode here. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Uh, was there a better way to cure that disease? Anything at all, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for all this content. See you guys next time.